All right, it was Record Store Day Black Friday this week. I got out early. Stick around and we'll dive in. It was Record Store Day Black Friday this week, and as usual, I got out early to the shop. My usual uh, place for Record Store Day the last few years has been Strictly Discs in Madison, Wisconsin. They do a, a really good job. It's uh, about, I don't know, 35, 40 minutes from my house. Uh, there's another shop that's actually a lot closer to where I live, about 15 minutes from my house, but they only have limited hours. They don't participate in Record Store Day. They do carry some new records, but it's mostly a used shop and, and a, a pretty cool like a little honey hole. They get some weird weird things here and there, but Strictly this is the place that I go for virtually um, most of my music. Uh, so I've been going there since about 2019, uh, late 2018, early 2019 and have been doing record store day there pretty much ever since coming back to wisconsin so this is uh what i picked up i got there i want to say about 5 30 ish in the morning i was fourth in line uh the black friday events don't draw quite as many people as the main event in april which they get a, a huge 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 turnout there uh, but it was a little bit quieter obviously not as many releases people are away for the holidays so it's, it's a little bit of a a different vibe but uh, I pretty much got everything I wanted so let's take a look what I got all right first up is uh, dream widow it's that I think it was listed as an EP but it is I mean borderline a full-length album uh, dream widow is a fictional band it's, it's basically Dave Grohl uh, he and I believe it was the rest of the Foo Fighters starred in a horror movie that revolved around a fictional uh, heavy metal band and uh, Dave Grohl did the soundtrack to that. This is a little bit more uh, uh, intense from a typical Foo Fighters album. It's probably not something I'm going to listen to too regularly, but uh, it was a fun pickup and something, you know, as a Foo Fighters completist had to pick this one up. All right, also on my list, uh, I generally pick up the Doors releases. Love the Doors. I don't have every Doors Record Store Day release, but I do have a good chunk of them, especially the ones that come out with kind of unreleased archival material. So for this Black Friday, they had uh, one called Paris Blues. Uh, and, it, and this is uh, it has the last previously unreleased track. Um, called Paris Blues, and then it's got uh, just some additional, um, you know, largely unreleased live music. I, th I think a few of the tracks have been previously released, but for the most part, uh, everything on here is kind of, you know, seeing the light of day for the first time. So nice little compilation. I like to pick up Doors things, and uh, like the Dream Widow, this is the only other thing I've listened to as of this video, and it's a pretty good recording. So if you're into the Doors, I do recommend picking this one up. All right, up next is Jefferson Airplane, uh, live at the Monterey International Pop Festival. Uh, I've been picking these up the last few years now. They've been they've released uh, full releases, full performances of bands from the Monterey Pop Festival. I've got The Who, I've got Big Brother and The Holding Company, and now they have the full performance from Jefferson Airplane. Uh, just, you know, some, some great tracks from the late 60s. Uh, somebody to love white rabbit um, you know it's, it's kind of like the the high flying bird the the tracks that you would kind of be fairly familiar with from that uh, that era of the Jefferson airplane so nice pickup and and hopefully they keep these things coming because I've been happy with the uh, the Monterey pop releases so far all right up next I am uh, grew up in New Jersey so to me, I always like to get Jersey releases from Jersey bands and uh, continuing some recent releases, re-releases, Fountains of Wayne, Traffic and Weather. I, I'm just missing basically, I think, like one Fountains of Wayne album at this point, most of which keep on getting re-released for Record Store Day and um, or Black Friday. So this is limited to 4,000, but I think they're going to do a wider release on this. And I know they also have another uh, album that just got announced for early January that's getting the re-release treatment as well. So if you're into 
kind of like uh, early 2000s, late 90s power pop uh, rock, uh, Fountains of Wayne is the way to go. So looking forward to this one. All right, also getting to my East Coast roots, we've got uh, a little bit older and, and a little bit more punk Jim Carroll Band, Catholic Boy, Deluxe Edition. I'm not too familiar. I mean, I know Jim Carroll, and, and I know the song uh, People Who Died, and, and obviously the movie, I think it was Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio, The Basketball Diaries. It's based on his early life. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm like loosely familiar. I've listened to some of the tracks streaming, but never listened to his full album. Looking forward to it. I mean, if you're into like a Patti Smith, Lou Reed, that kind of thing. Um, th this is kind of like a in that mix of, of, of records that I think you'd probably be interested in. And uh, a lot of people just have good things to say about it. So I'm, I'm looking forward to listening to this one. All right, up next, uh, little Janis Joplin. Uh, Janis Joplin and uh, Yorma Kukkonen, uh Early, the legendary typewriter tape from 64. Uh, Yorma's house. Yorma was in uh, the Jefferson Airplane and it's just early Janice. Haven't listened to this yet. I believe it's going to get a wider release to some degree soon, uh, but looking forward to checking this out. All right, up next, some Towns Van Zant. In my window, uh, this is a 19, early 1980s release, 35th anniversary edition, long out of print. I just, I love listening to Towns. Great stuff. Uh, so when I saw that this was going to be on the list, I'm, even though I'm not familiar with this album in particular, I, I've been pretty much buying anything that he puts out or, or gets re-released since he's he's passed away a long time ago. But looking forward to this one. All right, up next, taking a little bit of a flyer on this. I do have another one. They previously released uh, another Nico kind of like live release. I think it was the last record store day. Not the greatest sounding performance and even on it it does say rough live recording for fans and collectors but i do enjoy nico uh obviously if you know the velvety the velvet underground and nico uh, the album that first album that uh, she did with the velvet underground it's got a few of those songs on here plus some of her solo material i, I do enjoy nico uh so you know I'm, I'm looking forward to listening to this although i'm kind of going into it knowing that it may not sound the best. All right, and the last thing I got was uh, a little bit of a box set. Um, I, I wouldn't consider it a box set in the true sense of, you know, like Big Book or other material in it. It's, it's basically three albums in a slipcase. But uh, Eric Burden and War, the complete vinyl collection. So it's all three albums that Eric Burden did with War packaged together. It was a really good price um, for the set. It's four LPs total because uh, one of them is a double. So, you know, it was, it, with, with the price of vinyl and, and box sets in particular often being, in, in my opinion, a little bit overpriced, I thought this was a decent value to get the full work that he did with War. So, you know, looking forward to uh, cracking this one open and giving it a spin. All right, that was my Record Store Day Black Friday haul. Let me know in the comments below what you may have picked up or if you avoided it altogether. Let me know your thoughts. Be sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you again soon. Take care.